So repeating or copying and pasting bars. So let's deal with repeating first because this is the easiest thing to do. If I want to repeat that bar in the next available space, I click in the bar, highlight it, and I press R for repeat. Not Shift R, Control R, just the letter R. Okay. If I want to um, repeat the whole line down here, double click to highlight the whole line, and again press R for repeat. So that's really easy. What happens if I want to repeat a part of a line? Let's say I want to repeat, I don't know, the second half of this bar plus the whole of that one. What you do there is you click, hold shift down and click and it highlights a sort of you know, a block that's not just one bar. If I press R for repeat, it now puts that down the next bar or next available space, in this case on the next line. Okay. So what happens if you want to repeat um, or copy and paste something that's not in the next available space? So for instance, I want to take that little bar there in the wood block, but I want to put it in the djembe part, maybe over here in the next available space. So what I do is again, I click to highlight whatever I want to copy, and then I press Control C on the keyboard, and I click where I want to put it. So if I click it there, it's going to put some of it in this bar and carry the idea on the next one. And then I press Control V to paste. And it's copied that idea down to here. Control C, Control V. That allows you, therefore, just like I've done there, to copy one idea from one instrument, so in this case the wood block and then to put it into the djembe. That can be an interesting way of making your piece sound more interesting by moving ideas from one instrument to another. So that's repeating, copying, pasting.